Hello everyone, it's your old pal Living Dead, and I'm back with another WAD playthrough, but this time we're picking it back up on the Fire Blue Conundrum. This is a WAD in progress by Valhin from the Doom World Forums, and we're going to be rejoining this uh, little chronicle in Map 5. This one is called Chill Out. As in, I need to chill out and turn off mouse look, because why is it turned on? We don't mouse look around here. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. So, uh, this is map five. Chill out. 113 monsters, six secrets, no rugs. Oh shit, okay. So, uh, getting, getting plink plonked. From a distance, I took like a max damage roll from that former human or something like that. Fifteen has got to be pretty close to the max damage. Got a lot of perched monsters up here, and a little festive wonderland type of area. Above all, all, all other things, it seems pretty clear to me that this is a. Uh, this wad is an exercise and experimentation for Valhen, and uh, I can't say that I blame him. I think it's, uh, if you're going to be making lots of different maps, especially those in a map set, you're going to want to kind of try a, a few different things out. So we're going to get these empty boys up there taken care of and I really don't want to have to plank these lost souls I mean there's not that many of them but let's see chain gun which I already I've already got a bunch of imps up here let me get a rocket launcher and get these guys very uh, upbeat and festive sort of midi Kind of sets this mood for this cheeky, fast-paced jaunt through this wintry area. Chilling out. It's a bit oxymoronic, don't you think? Because it's a pretty fast-paced... Uh, it's a pretty fast-paced wad. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, let's see what else we got. So, I'm just looking for anything... It'd be like a secret or a new weapon. Oh, I can't jump over there. There's six secrets. I'm notoriously bad for finding secrets. I want to find uh, at least a, at least a couple. I can go that way. I cannot. Can I have to go this way? I think I can go this way. Oh, I can go up here. I see pinkies. What are they doing over there? Oh, that's a secret. It gave me a a shit ton of a health. There's a bunch of health bonuses stacked on top of each other. Let's get a save going, because I do want to do that. How many fucking files do I have? I need to come here and clean these out. TFC. That's what we're playing here. The Fire Blue Conundrum. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Uh-oh. I'm sliding around. There's friction, or there's 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 low friction here. Honestly, I don't. I'm not familiar with uh, what parameters you have to tweak with the floor friction and boom. But if you want to, you could even stand to make this a little bit more slippery, just to kind of make it a little dicier. That's a pretty easy trap. Yellow key, okay. Plenty of shotgun ammo to keep me going, it feels like. Okay, so there's a yellow key door here. What's the purpose of that when I'm already on the other side of it? What kind of trickery do we have going on here? What? Oh. Uh, okay, so this is back to this room. Did I go in here? I don't remember. Oh shit, no! How dare you!
Oh, whoops, I forgot to go back down and get the uh, the super shotgun. Okay, we gotta do this one more time. Now we get this guy. Okay. Well then. Okay. Fool me once. I see now, you see? Look, if you look carefully, you can see the crushers. It's a really mean spirited trap. I don't no, I'm just kidding. It's it's perfectly acceptable. Uh, let me get my bearings. Okay, so there's that area. What else is up here? Who? Who the hell's hitting me? Oh, for real, dude? For real? I'm gonna say there's gotta be something going on there. This, this map and the Hell Express map four are sharp, sharp contrasts in difficulty compared to map three, which is just, you know, as a, as an, as a creative person, you are, you know, free to do whatever you'd like with your maps progression. I do think that uh, either reordering the two maps or the, the map three with, with, uh, something else or changing the difficulty a little bit could be could be in order because it's so jarring to go from that map three which was just a lot of light slaughter types of stuff and crazy traps where you get locked into tiny rooms with like revenants and arch vials and stuff and then you come to this map and it's like I mean, I'm practically all the way done with it, and uh, I'm barely breaking a sweat here. And I'm just, uh, I'm not really sure what the goal is. So that would always be kind of the, the question I would ask. Like, what, what, what is the goal with that, with doing it that way? It doesn't really hamper my enjoyment. I'm still having a, having a good time here. Just blasting some pinkies. I get the sense from just playing several of Valen's maps by now that he gets a uh, has a has a healthy respect for changing it up and not just keeping everything like oh, I've got to just make hard maps. I've got to just make challenging, tricky maps. We want to have a few maps where somebody just gets a shotgun and just goes blasts open someone's someone's face you know it's totally fine oh nice platforming there buddy oh that's uh okay i was gonna say for a second it almost felt like it was it didn't belong in the same 3D space. Uh, it's just kind of the way that it's set up. A lot of very smooth lines here. It's uh, It doesn't exactly look natural so much as it's just the, the ice-themed textures that we're kind of getting here, but it, uh, if you want it to look more natural, it could definitely do for some tweaking get some of these lines a little bit more jagged looking. Everything is just a very clean slope. I mean, I guess on one hand, it's kind of like hills of, of snow pile, uh, piled up on top of each other. But at least in... Oh, that's a secret, huh? In my opinion, it's a little, it's a little clean for something that's supposed to look like nature. 
For real? Get get your ass down here, buddy. Get your ass down here. Come on. Alright, well, that's fine. How do I get into that window? I would like to get that mega armor, even though I don't think I'm going to need it for anything. Did something just change? Am I going crazy? Must be going crazy. Okay. I mean, I'm almost done with the map. What is the point in this yellow key? I feel like it's a secret I've missed. That's mean. Oh! Okay. Well, I cleared out all the monsters. I only found four of the secrets. I have no idea what the yellow key is for. Uh, you know what? Instead of worrying too much about it, maybe I'll encourage you to take a look at the map and, and try to figure it out. And if you figure out what the yellow key does, uh, leave a comment on my web zone. You know, just let me know about it. Tell me all the secrets that you find out. We're going to leave off with two of six. And uh, that seems that seems good to me. All right. Once more into the crazy fire blue void. That's a fun little quick map. I think you can if you were if you were motivated, you could beat that map really fast. It seems very, very quick. Uh, several different places you could possibly go. So there's a non linearity to it that I really appreciated. It's a bit uh, open. So at least in my opinion, it makes the spaces feel a bit sparsely populated, I suppose. If the objective is to, to present a just a quick upbeat type of map, then I think it's fairly successful in that regard. Um, I do personally speaking, I do feel like the natural areas are uh, just a little bit too clean looking. Uh, and I think that I think maybe some detailing could be in order to just kind of tighten up the way that that it looks. But I, I maybe am not clearly sure how to articulate what I mean by that or how, how I would do it. Um, I'm not saying it looks bad or anything like that. I'm just saying I, I think that uh, I just feel like maybe it's not quite there, possibly. But that could just be me, you know, maybe just a mood I'm in or something. My expectations. I don't know. But uh, that was fun. I'll have a link for this this wad down in the description. Uh, you should definitely check it out if you like it. I'll probably be finishing this up and posting another video about that. That the, the next map or two or however many there are soon. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have a map you would like to suggest that I play, please let me know. You can feel free to uh, comment or leave a... Uh, uh, send me a message on the Doom World forums if you'd like. And if it's your map or just a map that you really like that you think I would enjoy, please suggest it to me and I will be more than happy to take a peek. That is it for today, or at least this video I should say. I hope you have a good one and as always, take care.